Sudhanjay, good, uh, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to this webinar. And uh, it's a great to have you here. Uh, sir, Dr. Tangarajan, sir, Mr. Sudhanjay yeah. Naranan is there. Uh, he's yeah, on yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, my dear students, again on behalf of uh, continuing and higher education cell of Home Engineering College, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, Mr. Uh, Sutan J. Narayan, uh, uh, an alumnus, alumnus of College of Engineering, Gindi, and uh, All India ranked 75 of the UPSC 2019 amidst us. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, joining us and uh, uh, thank you again for uh, accepting to motivate our students. Uh, and I welcome you once again uh, to this uh, webinar. Uh, and over to you for your sharing your experience. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. Uh, thank you, uh, Kongu Engineering College and Shankarai's Academy for giving me this opportunity. And it's very, very inspiring to hear my mom uh, right before uh, I speak. I actually was a spectator for about 45 minutes uh, before I pinged Ramesh sir saying I'm actually there because I was actually very keen and interested to hear what uh, mom was saying. Um, and I didn't want to switch on my video. So thank you very much. And as all of you would have known, quite an unconventional journey, uh, a story of courage, a story uh, which is quite inspiring to tell us that each one of us have uh, a different way of approaching life. All of our circumstances are different, but uh, we can still overcome different challenges and uh, achieve what we ought to achieve in terms of uh, what we've decided. First of all, thank you uh, to all the students who are here. We have 100 plus uh, students who are here. It's a Sunday, it's afternoon. I'm sure there's some yummy lunch being made uh, by your parents. Uh, and I'll keep this very short. Uh, so if there are questions, Rinda, we'll, uh, we'll take more of questions. But ma'am has covered so many beautiful things that I wanted to cover. So what I'm essentially planning to do is I'm just going to uh, put them in, in uh, some sort of six in top two, three things, and then just share my uh, journey, right? Uh, and I want to keep it more from my college journey kind of perspective because most of them are college students here, right? And I actually wanted to, in the civil services, I actually wanted to the college level first. College level, I've been in the cultural time, I wanted to study in the stalls. In the stalls, I wanted to study in Shankar Academy. There was a stall actually in the College of Engineering. I didn't know about this Shankar sir or Chandra sir. But in the stall, there was a mom who was in the stall. And friends, most of my friends who are, of course, very inspiring and they do amazing stuff in their own fields, uh, were very skeptical about uh, the government and government services. They said, you know, we should all do a startup. We should start a business together. We should all work in consulting and all of that. But I was always very interested in, uh, you know, some sort of public service, uh, right? Uh, I think that came from because my own parents come from very humble backgrounds and they have been able to do something out of their sheer hard work sincerity uh, and china vaisla indha nariya traveling nariya kootu poiranga appa oda nariya avanga uru uru oru oru work pomodu nariya enak oor ella sutti kaamichirukumbodhu enak oru oru oor oda kadhaiyum has been very very uh, fascinating be it a temple town uh, be it a national park be it you know anywhere abroad these stories of inspiration these stories of courage of people who have gone over and above what they had to do at a particular time but they went over their call of duty to do things has always inspired me. I mean, even my parents, they uh, lead quite an inspiring life. So that seed was always there because ma'am, Avalo humble background, Linda Vandu, you know, she had to overcome so many challenges and she had to do it. And I've always felt extremely grateful for what I've always had for my privilege. So, we can always fulfill our potential much more, uh, you know, to what we want to do. And when we have that capability, it's amazing. Right? So, in the public service, the government has massive scale. It has resources. You get the opportunity to travel. You get to meet people. And that's always been very interesting and inspiring for me. So, in the Shankar Academy, order and the... 
ஸ்டாலுக்கு போய் கேட்டும் போது எனக்கு அந்த சிலபஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து அவங்க காலேஜ்ல இருக்கும் போதே கொடுத்துருந்தாங்க ஸோ ஐ திங்க் த ஸ்டோரி இஸ் இஃப் யூர் இன் காலேஜ் இட் செல்ஃப் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ கெட் சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்போஜர் டு வாட் திஸ் எக்ஸாம் இஸ் இட் ஸ்டேஸ் வித் யூ ரைட் ஐ டென் டேக் அப் கோச்சிங் இமீடியட்லி இன் ஃபேக்ட் இட் வாஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் டு சிக்ஸ் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் தட் இனிஷியல் இன்டராக்ஷன் தட் ஐ ஹேட் Uh, with that ma'am in that stall in college that I actually decided that I want to get into the civil services. But I was exposed to it. So at least I knew what the structure of the exam was and I knew that I'm interested in this. But of course, my friends laughed and they said, uh, I actually had a startup when I was in college. I was doing a lot of theater when I was in college. I really enjoyed my college time, right? And I think that's a very important lesson uh, which is in, which i cherish now to say that i actually was grateful to have a very good college uh, education and made a lot of friends and was exposed to many things i did theater i did a lot of culturals i did everything so people who are in the second year third year fourth year enjoy your college time those friendships make a lot of impact as you uh, grow on in your career right so once i did that i actually went on to do something called the young india fellowship uh, in ashoka university it's a course in delhi it's a one year program adhe uh, na panna nakka na geography geoinformatics ngra or subject and i was really edited but i was always interested in humanities and human sciences i want to understand a bit of our own history of sociology of international relations much like the civil services syllabus right that's what it demands as well a multi dimensional approach but and the 2015 la in the opportunity on irukku delhi la and sonna modu i applied for it and luckily i got in it's a very very competitive process it's a tough process but you guys should check out what young india fellowship is i got through that and i angada anga nariya per vandittu in the delhi la padichirukravanga prelims ezhudi clear aagadavanga nariya per in the upsc sar and the makkal nariya per in the delhi la young india fellowship program la irundanga so enoda roommate in fact pathinga ka padichi clear aagama and adukapra in the yf panti he's doing very well now in fact he's working with a lot of government projects and all but not as a civil servant but as a consultant with a think tank right so he also told me a lot of things about the civil services about uh, the preparation it was very interesting and it's primarily interesting like uh, ma'am said because it's an opportunity for you to learn right the kind of books that you get to read the kind of um, exposure that you get and the intellectual stimulus that one gets because of just studying so much and understanding so much about our own history our own society our own culture uh economics how it works really opens up your mind to many different things right so if you deciding to take the civil services join coaching like shankar academy or like ma'am self prepare pan enna va irunda kuda the process of going through the entire civil service preparation is absolutely amazing it opens up so many avenues it opens up your own mind to different ideas and i think that is something which is very valuable that i learned from and through this preparation so now the young india fellowship murchappo angiyo i was very, i was interested in a lot of these subjects sociology angada na first first padicha so adha na padichathnal da na appra enoda optional vandu sociology edutha i was very interested in the subject i had some fabulous uh, teachers like andre bethe amita bhavaskar who are you know very very renowned in this field and i was uh, lucky to have been taught directly uh, by them adukapra na work panna padichathukapra work panna skill development space la work pannirna அந்த டூ தௌசண்ட் தேர்ட்டீன்ல தான் அந்த கம்பெனிஸ் ஆக்ட் வந்து அமெண்ட் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் காபரேட் சோஷியல் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி அப்படிங்கிற அந்த கான்செப்ட் வந்து சிஎஸ்ஆர் ஃபண்ட் வந்து கார்பரேட்ஸ் கொடுத்து ஒரு சோஷியல் காசுக்காக தி ஹேட் டு இன்வெஸ்ட் இன் யூ நோ கான்ட்ரிபியூட் டு என்ஜிஓஸ் இன் ஒர்க் ஆன் சோஷியல் ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஒர்க் வித் நாஸ்காம் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ஆன் அ ஸ்கில் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ப்ராஜெக்ட் விச் வாஸ் ஃபண்டட் பை ஜென்பாக்ட் ஜென்பாக்ட் இஸ் அன் எம்என்சி ஸோ தட் வாஸ் ஃபண்டட் பை தென் ஸோ வாஸ் மேனேஜிங் அ ப்ராஜெக்ட் இன் ஹைதராபாத் So that taught me a lot of things again about you know administration about um, monitoring evaluation how do you create uh, criteria for uh, a, a social project right uh, if there's any project you have to have certain policy criteria of who who your end beneficiaries are going to be what your baseline is what your outcomes are going to be so it was very interesting to brainstorm with people with my mentors both the nascom foundation and genpack to understand how the entire social sector works so it was very interesting but adina or one year work panna end la na appo delhi la da irundha or rendu varsham aayirundhuchu rendra varsham na chennai vittu poi i want to be back home and uh, if i had said that i want to come back home and quit my job my parents would have said no so i thought okay let me say that i'm going to study for the civil services and come back home uh, so that i get to study 
at the same time, I'm back home, right? So that was the main reason I told my parents and they were very happy uh, because my dad had also uh, recently met uh, an IPS officer and he had also suggested if, that if your uh, son is interested in uh, the humanities and in the social sector, he could always give a try for the civil services. So now, Chennai Marbadiyo, first in the YAF Murushita Pro one year work, I went to uh, Shankar Academy. So we had no idea, right? As a family, mamus on a madri, Ingala Sutti, no Anna, no Akka, no Mama, nobody around me who uh, has, is in the service, who was prepared for this, no friends of mine who are even interested in this, but I was interested in this. So I needed a structure and some sort of a mentor who's going to uh, take me through the whole process. And for me, it was Shankar sir, uh, Chandru sir, and uh, Rajita Mamlari from the institution, right? So they were my brother, elder brother, elder sister, uncle, and so to speak, who were there for me to give me that structure to say, do this, do that. Ma'am Sonamadri, in the process, is much more valuable than what you have to do because there's a lot of gyan out there and resources and um, which tells you what you're supposed to do. But what you're not supposed to do, so Chandra says, so now in the books, you have the YF experience, you have to do a lot of exposed to it. In the exam, you have to do a syllabus, you have to do a previous 10 years question papers. You have to do a lot of that. Classes are going to attend, you have to do a lot of tests. You have to do a lot of that. Because when I came in, I came in, I came with more of an academic kind of a uh, mind frame where I want to write and read a lot. But less is more in this exam, uh, right? And the more you revise, the more stronger you get with the fundamentals, it becomes very uh, helpful. So I joined Shankar Academy and um, that's largely uh, my story, right? In terms of how I want to uh, get into this. And in the academy, largely, I, do, I, I hope all of you know that the exam is a three-part exam, right? So there's a preliminary exam, there's a mains exam, and there's an interview. All these three, I studied at Shankar Academy. I did my sociology as an optional um, at Shankar Academy. And a uh, few very important points, right? It's very important for you to go through the syllabus for all three parts of the exam. There's a syllabus for every single part of the exam. And if you join a coaching institute, or there are many blogs out there. Uh, there's a, a IAS officer currently serving in Tamil Nadu. His name is Madhubalan. There's a very beautiful video that he's written, which kind of explains the different parts of the exam very succinctly with examples. It's an absolutely good video. I think you all should watch it. Uh, it inspired me as well. So syllabus, the last few years, question papers and you writing tests with some, some sort of consistency becomes very important. And I joined the coaching academy because and the structure was important. And so I followed that to the T with a lot of trust, hoping and knowing fully well that they had my best interest in, uh, in mind, right? So the prelims is about, of course, facts and about a lot of knowledge. It takes some time. Ma'am, so you first need to, you second year, third year, the final year. Just understand what many things are, right? Watch documentaries on history, the beautiful documentary, BBC documentaries um, on ancient, medieval and modern history. Just understand the entire storyline of what things are. Uh, I kind of miss not doing all of those things in college I, because I was doing so much of theater and uh, I had my own kind of uh, startup collective in college. I was very, very busy. So I didn't have time to watch movies, documentaries and all of that. But for all of you who are in second, third year, fourth year of college, I think you can acclimatize yourself with history, with some good environmental documentaries, with good social uh, you know, documentaries, which will give you an understanding of what the current debates are, what are the most important issues that are happening. There's a YouTube channel that I normally recommend. It's called Crash Course. Uh, it's an absolutely free um, YouTube channel. You guys can start watching all of that. right? So that will give you an overall understanding of the storyline. Books, padikla, audio books, padikla, ma'am, so madri, nariya opportunities. Irukka. But on the broad framework, ninge, civil, civil service exam, college that will give you that broad framework. right? And for facts, for which if you join coaching or if you start studying, in about a month or two, you can start writing tests. The minute you start writing tests, if you go to an academy like Shankar or whatever, 
you'll start, you'll have tests and you'll have a test discussion after that. The amount that you learn is through these tests and test discussion because there's a constant feedback loop that comes. There's a constant feedback loop that's uh, created. And that review mechanism becomes very important. And you taking a lot of tests and focusing in class for the first attempt or the, for the first year is the most important thing. Like we had Perez Sudhan sir, who's also an Indian Forest Service officer who was a faculty at Shankar Academy. He'd always say, he said, come with the vision that you're going to finish this exam in one attempt and leave, right? For that, just focus in class and do these tests very consistently and you should be, you should be okay and you will clear it. And that's a very important um, lesson. Of course, I didn't clear in the first attempt, but I took what he said very seriously, right? Because unfortunately, that paper that year, the prelims was extremely hard. But uh, it kind of gave me that sense to say, okay, trust the class notes. Nariya Vishya Padikino Tilla, broad on the story, Terjishna, example of And um, the, the subtext of what the prelims requires is stress management, right? In the government school, in Gavana, Podana, in the Vashna Varaparanga, mask, face shield, you'll have to have a certain sense of stress management and uh, your way to manage that kind of anxiety. Ma'am Sonamadri, there are many ways, listening to music, yoga, meditation. Personally, I do a lot of yoga. Um, I do a lot of fitness. So for me, that has worked wonders. The last one year, I do a lot of yoga and meditation. And I got into that largely because of the civil services exam. So for prelims, like I said, class notes, and then your tests and review, and then stress management. And of course, evening, that CSAT becomes very important, the second paper. A lot of you are in the final year. Placement the quantitative aptitude could importance college that gives you that sense of empowerment or confidence when you come into this exam. Data is everything today, right? Everything is numbers. Even uh, if you go, I recently in December of last year, I had gone to Gujarat on a tour and we went to the chief minister's office and there's something called the CM's dashboard, right? Everything is on an indicator measurable, quantified, how many beneficiaries, everything is so beautifully beautifully quantified and it's all data. So a good understanding of quantitative understanding, data-based mm -hmm. reasoning is important. When you're in the final year of college, I think you should make use of it. Second part is mains. And people have been asking questions on note making and on uh, answer writing and all of that, right? Uh, note making when you're studying, like I said, class notes is your first notes. If you're watching videos online, if you're uh, reading also, just take notes from that. That's your main notes. Right? You don't have to take, I never took notes from newspaper and all of that. For me, my class notes, and I used to follow some uh, current affairs booklet, Adilinda and tests in the moon source circle. Idilin the Yanakena Marakad and in the Pathavasha questions, the Yedu Kamana Kekarangalo. A4 size sheet, I used to make separate notes of that. So that helped me in my mains also. But specifically for mains, what I used to do is I only studied the class notes. Uh, I'm being very honest. I didn't really have too much time to study uh, anything more because my first attempt, like I said, I didn't clear. I started working immediately after my first attempt. So I was working throughout my exam preparation. So I didn't have time. So whatever I had done at Shankar, I had all my notes for that. I just added stuff with the current affair booklets that I kept reading. And of course, your perspective changes, right? When you're working and as you mature, I think time also makes you a little wiser. All my learnings from my corporate experience, from my startup experience, I will think from the perspective of UPSC. For email, I will look at that as an answer writing experience. For a page pair, I'll be like, for a customer call, it's like an interview. Are you prepared for it? Do you know the content of what you're going to speak? Right? Are you articulate? Are you clear? Uh, is the audience understanding what you're saying? Any presentation that I make, I'll think, okay, it's going to improve my, uh, you know, structural thinking, logical reasoning, so on and so forth. Right? So I started working, but the notes that I had made and uh, answer writing that I had done, the previous year helped. So I actually, after the prelims, Shankar sir asked me specifically to write some answers. So I wrote some answers, went to him, got them corrected, extremely you know, thankful that I had those opportunities where I could actually sit with Shankar sir and discuss some of those answers, right? But it takes some time. So you start studying for prelims. Once you get a little confident with that, you can start writing answers. 
நீங்க நிறைய பேர் வந்துட்டு அந்த கமாண்ட் ஆஃப் லாங்குவேஜ் இருக்காதுன்னு இருக்கும் சோ நீங்க மல்டிபிள் ஃபைட்ஸ் யூ கான் ஃபைட் இட் த சேம் டைம் முதல்ல நமக்கு விஷயம் தெரியுதா நம்ம விஷயம் கத்துக்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு ரெண்டு மூணு நாலு மாசம் ஆகும் அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்துட்டு நம்ம ஆன்சர் ரைட்டிங் ஸ்லோ ட்ரை பண்ணலாம் இல்லாக்கா ஆப்ஷனல் யான ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எழுத ஆரம்பிக்கிறோம் நீங்க ஆப்ஷனல் கோச்சிங் ஏதாவது போறீங்க அப்படின்னாக்கா நீங்க ஆப்ஷனல் எழுத ஆரம்பிச்சீங்கன்னாக்கே உங்களுக்கு உங்களுக்கு அந்த கான்பிடன்ஸ் வரும் நீங்க மெயின்ஸ் வந்துட்டு நீங்க நல்ல பிளன்ஸ்க்கு படிச்சாலே உங்களுக்கு அந்த நாலேஜ் நல்லா உங்க மைண்ட்ல இருக்கும் நான் சொன்ன மாதிரி இந்த ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் நீங்க எடுக்க ஆரம்பிச்சுட்டீங்கனாவே உங்களுக்கே அந்த ஃபில்டர் பண்ண பண்றதுக்கு அந்த ஒரு ப்ரூடன்ஸ் வந்துரும் இதுதான் தேவை இது தேவை இல்ல அப்படிங்கிறது மெயின்ஸ் இஸ் அகைன் லார்ஜ்லி அபவுட் தி சிலபஸ் ரைட் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஏபிள் டு ரைட் a geography question from a cultural perspective from a historical perspective from an economic perspective in last year oda mains paper eduthu paathinga na ka you should just have the syllabus in front of you like ma'am said there is a method to this madness right and the syllabus in the old question papers is the method to the madness whatever they ask are you able to write from that perspective shankar sir had beautifully given a preamble right there was a preamble for mains writing so are you able to analyze a problem from a social uh political economic legal technological perspective right that is what the gs requires so you can't give too much time to the gs because it's everything under the sun but if they ask you anything about agriculture can you speak about agriculture economics can you speak about geography can you speak about even politics right uh, because you have minimum support price you have essential commodities act you have uh, the mandi act now which has recently been performed so there is certain political implications and decisions which have an impact on economy as well which is why they call it political economy right traditionally the subject is called political economy so are you able to make those interconnections is what is very important that multi dimensional thinking is what the mains checks and you writing answers like i said for your optional so you need to select your optional well na geography undergraduate la padichirundha kuda i took um, sociology because i was exposed to it when i was in delhi and i found fab- a fabulous teacher in rajita ma'am at chankar academy was so much of a mentor and very comfortable uh, with the subject so i took that subject so are you comfortable with your optional teacher are you comfortable with the subject can you think about it even without the exam are you interested in that subject even without the exam right even if i was not writing civil services i'm very interested in sociology every problem i would look at it from multiple social institutions and social forces uh, so to speak so very interested in that so optional becomes very important Prayana again had told me one thing which I think is still the mantra, essay, optional, ethics are the three important subjects uh, for the mains. So optional focus, GS, like I said, the basics in the syllabus should definitely help you. For ethics, I did take notes and how I did that was all these kind of inspiring stories. Like now, Uma Ma'am gave us so many nice stories. Uh, so like that in the adathla whatever inspiring stories that i had heard of books that i had read of audio books of webinars that i had attended i would put it under brackets on integrity transparency fiduciary responsibility honesty courage you know these important words that are there in ethics which becomes very important normally in governance i used to write these examples under these for ethics so that would be an important hack for ethics which will help you when you're writing uh, the exam uh lastly the interview of course uh, my interview was in july of this year and i went for my mocks at shankar the interview again has a syllabus right there is a method to the madness and i had didn't know that for a really long time i thought it was nalla english pesna ka mark vandru illa na ka vandute nalla personality nalla be shirt la put pona mark it's not about that right it's it's about personality test these things makes a difference but they're looking at your fitment to a career in the civil services like ma'am so no matter so many circumstances and situations that you are put through are you able to understand overcome reason and make decisions which are legal which are sound which are uh, you know honest which have the public interest in mind are you empathetic are you compassionate these are the values that they check ரைட் அதுக்கு நிறைய செல்ஃப் அவேர்னஸ் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அதுக்கு நிறைய ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணும் இப்ப நான் உங்களுக்கு இந்த கதை சொன்ன மாதிரி இதுல இருந்து என்ன லெசன்ஸ் நான் கத்துக்கிட்டேன்ட்டு அது மாதிரி யூ ஹாவ் டு பிராக்டிஸ் லாட் அண்ட் பிராக்டிஸ் லாட் வித் மை மதர் அண்ட் மை பிரதர் தே யூஸ் டு லைக் லிட்ரலி ட்ரில் மீ ஃபார் அபவுட் தேர்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ் எவ்ரி டே அண்ட் ஐ யூஸ் டு வோக்கலைஸ் மை தாட்ஸ் பேச பேச பேசதான் நமக்கே வந்து அந்த கிளாரிட்டி வரும் இல்லைன்னா எழுதலாம் நான் எழுத கூட செஞ்சேன் ஸோ நான் இன்டர்வியூ கூட நிறைய எழுதுவேன் what are, what are the top 3 strengths what are the top 3 weaknesses what would you do if you become the secretary what would you do if you become a district collector so on and so forth so it's sort of a vision document for how you want the government service to be right and how your own career to be so 
interview becomes very important. Ganesh sir, again from Shankar Academy, I had this very enlightening conversation with him. So he asked me questions about myself and I fumbled on those. And uh, that was like a very important session for me where I understood that they're actually asking questions about yourself. Uh, so are you clear in your own understanding of yourself, which is the most important part uh, for the interview, right? So this is the large structure I've given you my journey. This is three parts of the exam. And um, last but not the least, like I said, I, I, I saw the beautiful uh, motto of Congo Engineering College, which is love, knowledge, and service, uh, right? Very beautifully uh, encapsulated. Like I said, make a lot of love, make a lot of friendships, uh, you know, develop your emotional quotient early on in your 20s, because it's the love that takes us through always. Knowledge, very important for the civil services and even otherwise, uh, we, are what, we are in what is called the fourth uh, industrial revolution or you know, the, the second machine age. So it's a knowledge society. So you need to know, uh, have that sense of critical thinking to say what is important, what is not important, how do you make decisions, how do you make choices. So knowledge becomes very important. And civil services preparation and coaching gives you that framework. So that's, that's a good starting point. It's a very important uh, learning opportunity for you and knowledge is very important. Service, of course, uh, in the civil service, that sense of public interest, for cause, kaga number serve for no, country kaga serve for no. And um, I've been thinking recently, right? There's so many people of so many of us who are studying for this, and uh, not many people get through, uh, but we still study. We are all from very good educational institutions. We're so bright and young, and we're so young as a country. Certainly, in our lifetime, I think we have to take it as a cause to make this country, uh, like, you know, great. A lot of opportunities and entrepreneurship. Now, the public service uh, the space has expanded exponentially over the last uh, uh, four or five years. You have what are called think tanks, you have research organizations, you have uh, development consulting, NASCOM Foundation, work Madriana organizations. Even an IT job, I think, is very, very important uh, today. Now, work on a startup is charge me is an IT company, but it, it was a startup. The kind of learnings that I've had there, the kind of friendships that I've made there is fantastic. And if everything around us is going to be data and technology, and if we fear it, I don't know, right? I took it up as a challenge. In fact, I'm an engineer and I didn't, hadn't worked in technology. I wanted to understand what all of, you know, software, SaaS, startup, what are all of these things? That's why I went and applied. It was a six round interview. I hadn't even told my parents. I went and I got the job. And the last two years have been, have been the most enlightening uh, for me, right? So that's very important. And there are many ways to serve this country. Like I said, there are many opportunities. Wherever we are, I think it's once we understand our own strengths and weaknesses, we can always choose to go and serve uh, wherever we want. Last story, what my mom had done, uh, what my mom had said, right? When I came back from the interview from Delhi, uh, there was a note in my room. A room or a letter la yehdi or cake vechi. Ah, the or candle vechi vechi. Na, because I am very stressful. I am mask. This all face shield. I am putting. I am in Tamil. I am going. And when I was just under pro, my mom had written a, a line saying, uh, "Success is never a destination, but it's a new way of looking and doing things." I had tears in my eyes, and I called a friend of mine, and I said, uh, "Bro, whatever it is." This exam and all of that, so many people have helped us for Shankar Academy, our teachers, our friends, our whims and uh, you know, fancies, our tantrums, our flow vision, our support. First, we, we need to be very grateful. And two, this knowledge has given us so much empowerment that we definitely have to do something about uh, this and to serve uh, the public, irrespective of what the outcome and the result is, which is a very fulfilling experience and um, I think it, it kind of changed the way I think, right? And uh, I kind of understood that if I have changed mentally and if I'm not taking things at face value, I'm going to put my 100% effort without any regrets that I will feel happy. And in that enlightened self-interest, we are helping people around us also. It was a very profound thought and uh, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can please ask me, there are five minutes. Uh, you can please ask me if there are any questions. I know lunch is waiting for all of you. If you want, you can always uh, send your questions to Ramesh sir or Prem sir and they can get back to me. But thank you again. Uh, 
Tangradun sir, uh, Krishnamurthy sir, Chandu sir, Prem and Ramesh and Uma ma'am for that fabulous talk and all your students for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Shrutunjai. It's again uh, one of the, another uh, blasting session from you. Like I would say it's an, another master blaster session. Uh, like uh, so, Prem has. Uh, I mean, there are somewhere on Prem. There are somewhere on nine questions uh, from student side. So, yeah. they will be having time. You said only five minutes. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Can we, we hold you? It, we can also also send it to people who are who are probably not here. Okay. Okay. Prem, can you? Uh, start yes. 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 Sure. 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 Thank you. Uh, thanks, Dundee. Actually, it was a power-packed uh, session. Uh, you have uh, largely covered all the parts of the examination. So there are only like eight to nine questions in the Q and A box. So I will ask some questions on behalf of student so that it can even address their concerns with respect to the examination, right? Yes. So the first question is like you have uh, done your degree, then you have gone for some job, then again came for the preparation, then again turned to the job, right? It was really not a linear like it is not a normal uh, career of a civil servant aspirant. It is something like job, then again to the preparation, then again to the job. So. Yes. What you will suggest for the students, right? Many students will have a lot of like uh, confusions in their final years of exam, final year of their colleges. Yeah. Right? They will think like they need they need to go for a uh, full swing of uh, like uh, preparation, or they will think like they can go for a job, then they can do their preparation. What will be our advice? Because it differs from person to person, but still you have done a, something which is different, and yeah. you will suggest for the students who are in final year of the college. Uh, yeah, thanks for the question. It's a very important question and um, I speak about this a lot to my friends. So it's very important, I think, and this is totally my personal opinion. It depends on, you know, the personality and the person, right? In the financial background, and you have the time, you have first day, you have to work compulsion, you have to work compulsion, you have to earn compulsion. I think in the exam, we have to stress free uh, we feel a lot more confident about this exam uh, rather than giving two, three, four years and then when we're 25, 26, suddenly having an existential crisis of sorts, right? Uh, Shankar sir had told me in the beginning itself to have an exit strategy. When I didn't clear my uh, first prelims, he was very, all of us were very hopeful, but I had studied for a very short time, only for about six months and then I had to give uh, my exam. But sir said only one more attempt and uh, he was very clear about it and he also said do some kind of part-time work for your second attempt don't even study full-time because for a person like you it's not required you will feel lethargic you will not invest your time properly and all of this so that exit strategy i think is important right for people in the final year of college if you have mentors if you have people if you have that sort of financial backing Right. I think it's great to probably study immediately after college and uh, if it doesn't happen, you can like start looking for a job or something like that. And Tangaraj sir, this is just an idea which I've always had, right? Uh, how can you kind of help people who are, who are very clear that they're, they're, they want to study immediately after college, but uh, you know, but they want to give only one attempt or something like that. What can you do to help them probably in terms of placements or whatever? It's in fact a recommendation in one of the committees also. So it's very interesting, like how can college empower us? But even otherwise, if you are taking the risk, I think it's important that or attempt at least college would have to take a fresh air, go to the college. If you don't know, 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 if you don't so you're not as raw, right? So you get that kind of corporate exposure, kunjo uh, on the professional skills, and the number to carry forward, panno, and they have to communicate, panno, no, na mukhe, ipo kunjo, number ke andha oru empowerment, confidence, they know, abdin solchena, theva abdin akka, it will definitely help. I did, I did it because of that. I think uh, I wanted to increase my own confidence. I was not very confident. The kind of English that I speak now was not so uh, four or five years back. It was only because I went to Delhi and I was exposed to such uh, literature, such thinkers that I actually was exposed mentally. Right? Number king English people pace or parako illa abhinaka. We have all of those things. So, what makes us empowered for our life in general is important. But one attempt, one option would be immediately after college or one. Two years, even if you're 22, 23, 23, it's fine. Like 23, 24, you're still young only. But 23, you start uh, studying for it, give one or two attempts, and then have an exit strategy. Which is why I suggested a lot of options today. Uh, I gave you guys the options of 
think tanks and research organizations, NGOs, fellowships. Uh, you have public policy courses now in terms of masters. You have fellowship programs abroad. So look at all of these kind of things. It's important. Uh, I could probably send a list, uh, right? You can, you can actually view all of these things so that you're not shooting in the dark. You know that there's some exit strategy because the social cost of you investing your prime time when you're young is very high. So unless you're very clear that if your family is uh, dependent on you, you might want to get married when you're 25, 26. These are very important decisions. But if you have these options, you can do it with a little bit of freedom. I know it's a very uh, vague answer, but I'm just throwing the options out there for you guys to make the decision yourselves. It is not a vague answer. You have said a word called exit strategy. It is actually a very nice word. You should have an exit strategy, not even for the examination. For the entire life, there should be an exit strategy <laughs> and everything. Otherwise, you will get stuck in a place and we will be like uh, confused about our future. So exit strategy is... A nice book called The yeah. Dip by Seth Godin, uh, S-E-T-H-G-O-D-I-N. Uh, very interesting book. So he says, where can you invest more if the, you know, marginal increase in the utility is going to decrease, there's no point, right? So you probably might pivot and do something else. So the dip is a very interesting book. particular the dip in YouTube, 30 minutes, it might be helpful for you. That's great. That's great. So next thing will be like the process of the examination. It's a year long examination, like prelims, mains and interview. It needs a lot of motivation factor and it leads a lot of patience also, right? People will not have that much patience to sit, uh, sit for a long year and prepare every day with books and be with books for uh, at least five to five to four to five hours a day. Because till college days, we will not have uh, that kind of mentality. Of course, ma'am said that we should uh, inculcate the habit of reading books. Right. As students are coming in, uh, they will not feel that much difficult to have the book with them. But right. most of the students are not so in the present scenario. So keeping the motivation is very important. And going with the flow of the examination is also very important. Right. So how, how would a student be like uh, motivated for the year long period of time and what you have followed uh, in that case? Like I said, for me, structure is very important, which is why I joined the coaching academy uh, because they take you through the flow, right? Uh, you know that syllabus in the test cell, means now a test series for interview now or mock for So on the structure, I mean, another class, ma'am, teachers, or the on, friends, and all of that. So you're not completely alienated. So, which is why for me, coaching was important. I don't know if I would have been able to study by myself. That's an honest answer uh, in terms of how I kept my motivation because I can't read too much. I'm more of a listener. So, class level, I'm not going to read it. I'm audio books, but in a sir or in a academy level, and the structure that helped me. Which is why my second attempt, I couldn't again sit at home and study. I, in fact, worked and I went and worked with the bureaucrat uh, for about two months. He was an absolutely inspiring bureaucrat, uh, much like ma'am. So many life experiences that I learned and I immediately took a job. So the job gave me a structure, which meant I again had to utilize my time very well. Time management became very important. So every minute was productive in some sense. My company for a car, for a time, marbudi for a time, kalele apo erandikena, apo fitness panu, apo padikeno. Packed our time. If actually a service ka wait for it in the time, I, I understand how important it is it's to have a structure because extra now it's like, oh my god, am I wasting time? So I now again started waking up waking up at five, do my fitness, do my studying. Studies never ends, right? I, I love studying. So I do my audio books. I have certain goals that I want to finish before service starts, before training starts. So the routine and structure is very important. You need to know what you're doing when you wake up. That's very important. Coaching plan Chandrasar week or a timetable, so you know what test is going to be there, what you're going to study, and all of that. But even otherwise, personally, also, I think it's an important uh, what do you say, skill to have. I think it's a skill in terms of uh, time management and optimizing your productivity. I had a lot of friends, uh, Prem, to be very honest, uh, who are very good with all this. And a lot of conversation with my friends certainly helped. Right? People are doing very well in corporate. People are doing well in um, business, their own uh, endeavors. But I keep learning, just keep observing. My parents, my mom is fascinating in terms of how she manages her time. And 
சூப்பரா டைம் மேனேஜ் பண்ணுவாங்க நம்மளுக்கே தெரியும் ஸோ ஐ திங்க் தட்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன் நம்ம யோசிப்போம் போர் அடிக்குது போர் அடிக்குதுன்னு சொல்லி பட் அந்த ருட்டீன் அவங்களுக்கு இருக்கிறதுனால தான் ஓவர் டைம் தேர் ஏபிள் டு கெட் சோ மெனி திங்ஸ் டன் ஸோ ருட்டீன் பிகம்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் ஸோ இட்ஸ் அகெயின் இண்டிவிஜுவல் சாய்ஸஸ் ரைட் எதை மாதிரி ஒர்க் பண்ணிட்டு படிக்கிறாங்க இல்லைனா கோச்சிங் அகாடமி சேர்ந்து படிக்கிறாங்க அது ஒரு ஒரு ஸ்டைல் அப்படி இல்லை செல்ஃபா படிக்கிறவங்களுக்கு கூட அந்த ருட்டீன் இந்த டைம்க்கு நம்ம இது பண்ண போறோம்ட்டு அந்த இருபத்தோரு நாள் நாற்பத்தெட்டு நாள் ஒரு ஒரு ஹேபிட் ஃபார்ம் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் அது கண்டினியூ பண்ணாதான் அது காம்பவுண்ட் ஆகும் போன வாட்டி நான் ரமேஸ்வரம் பேசணும் அந்த காம்பவுண்ட் எஃபெக்ட் அதை சொன்னேன் ரைட் நம்ம இருபத்தோரு வயசுல எனக்கு தெரிஞ்ச விஷயம் எனக்கு இருபத்தேழு வயசு இட் கீப் பில்டிங் ரைட் பட் அட்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் ருட்டீன் இஃப் ஐ கீப் ரீடிங் அபவுட் பாலிடிக்ஸ் ஐ பிகம் பெட்டர் இட் இஃப் ஐ கீப் டூயிங் இக்கனாமிக்ஸ் ஐ பிகம் பெட்டர் இட் பாடிட்டே இருந்தேன்னா சின்ன வயசுல நாற்பத்தெட்டு வயசுல நம்ம எல்லாம் சூப்பரா பாடுறோம் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க பட் இட்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தி கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ட்ரைனிங் தட் பீப்புள் ஹவ் ஹேட் அண்ட் தட் ஸ்டேஜ் எக்ஸ்போஷர்ஸ் பை அ பாம்பிஜேஷ் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு சிங் த வேஷ் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு சிங் ஆர் யூ நோ ஹரியாரன் இஸ் ஏபிள் டு இன்கேப்சுலேட் அஸ் வித் தேர் மேஜிக் ரைட் இட்ஸ் தட் compound effect which comes through that routine and practice that's great that's great that's great so next thing is that regarding the examination see the first stage of the examination is uh, like uh, it's an objective then it's a descriptive so students like many students will like uh, clear the prelims some students will have difficulties in clearing prelims but they will be having good writing skills so but the process is actually a holistic process the preparation right. starting from the prelims till the interview it is a holistic process but people think that an objective is a different part of examination and descriptive type of examination or the mains examination is a different kind of thing an interview is a different kind of thing but it is not so so how you had your preparation holistically in clearing all the three stages of the examination and be a successful candidate then which is why i don't talk too much about prelims because i'm still very scared and i salute everybody who goes even i am very scared about it right the uh, preliminary exam right some people get ah. the 40 150 and sorry to interrupt sudhanjay and prem you can't say that you can't escape by saying that you are scared of prelims yeah. but there are questions about prelims here that is why no, the no, question so we will share sir of course we will share why we, why why we are scared that is that is more important no, no. no i then i think it becomes very important of why i said yoga and meditation and all of that right right right, that right. Really helped me last year uh, mm-hmm. because i went again with that sense of confidence and i know it has had uh, an impact and yeah thank you to myself for you know just uh, stopping us there because again that that is not how you need to work on it so when i understood that the yeah. first part of the exam was what was uh hard for me i really put in a lot of effort right so mm-hmm. the way i did yoga and all of that just to calm my nerves and how am i able to handle that becomes very important i had some fascinating colleagues at work who were so good with data then i was so scared of csat so now i have understood that it's an important skill set so like you said prem it's a holistic process every part of it is important right and you need to clear the prelims and i should probably correct myself and said okay i don't know a strategy to probably hit 140 150 consistently but i know what it takes to clear it now right and each of us our thresholds our own approach is different right so it's important for you to craft the understanding of what is important for each part of this exam like i mentioned that madhubalan uh, i is um, sir's video is very very good so he beautifully deconstructs every part of the exam and says what is important but it's very common sense knowledge as a bureaucrat you need to make decisions based on data you need to write a lot of reports you need to do a lot of you need to read laws you need to you sit in magistrate magisterial positions at many times and you also need to communicate a lot with people this is essentially what the films means and interview tests so all of it is important which is why i said when you are in college it's important to if you understand this you can focus on those things காலேஜ்ல இருக்கும் போது ஃபைனல் இயர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் நீங்க ஆன்சர் ரைட்டிங் மாதிரி எழுதலாம் ஒரு அழகான ப்ராஜெக்ட் நல்ல சைட்டேஷனோட நல்ல ஒரு பிப்ளியோகிராஃபியோட இஃப் வி ரைட் இட் வி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹவு யூ ரைட் சயின்டிஃபிக் பேப்பர் ஹவு டூ லாஜிக்கலி ரைட் ஹவு டூ யூ ஆர்கியூ ரைட் ஸோ இஃப் யூர் ஃபைனல் இயர் தீசஸ் இஸ் பியூட்டிஃபுல் தட்ஸ் லைக் அ குட் ஆன்சர் ரைட்டிங் ப்ராக்டிஸ் இன் இட் செல்ஃப் இஃப் யூ நோ ஹவு டு ரீசர்ச் தட்ஸ் அன் இம்பார்ட்டன் ஸ்கில் செட் ரைட் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ப்ரிப்பேரிங் ஃபார் பிளேஸ்மெண்ட்ஸ் இஃப் யூ ஜஸ்ட் டூயிங் குவான்டிடேட்டிவ் ஸ்டடிங் தட் வில் ஹெல்ப் யூ ஃபார் சீஸ் ஆட் Right. So I did a lot of this when I was at YF, we had to write a lot of papers. Um, I learned Excel and you know, I had to do a lot of data crunching and all of that. So I learned that in customer success, I understood a lot about communication, about empathy, about personality and all of that. So every part of it is important. So if you have a college, you can do it. So if you have a project, you can do it. If you have a project, you can do it. If you have a group, you can do it. If you have a form, you can do it. If you have a case study, you can do it. If you have a vocalization, you can do it. Uh, small reasoning along with 
நீங்க पर्सनालिटी டெவலப்மென்ட்காக நீங்க உங்களோட பயோடேட்டா வச்சிருப்பீங்க இல்ல ரெசூமே வச்சிருப்பீங்க அப்படினாக்கா you guys can start on asking questions yourself what are your three strengths what are your three weaknesses but one important point is it comes with practice we'll be terrified to start my friend question kekara ne enak romba embarrassing a irukum and badal solradhu oru oru vaati enga amma kelvi kekkum bodhu enak embarrassing a irukum unak edhuk ias aanu nu enkitta avanga kelvi kekpaanga nammale mulippu andha question kekara nammalku eppadi irukum solunga but adu practice panna 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 da namakku avanga kitta nammalku enna oru shy a irukanu ngra avasiyam illa illengala adanalae namba adu practice panna you will get it over time and you realize the more you put yourself under the stress a little bit of stress is when you will actually reap a lot of benefits out of it so it's a, it's a good feeling to have it's like after a good workout you have that slight pain right that pain is what means that your muscles are actually growing so that you could have a day complete or uh, stress me illa varukku that little bit of stress is important you consciously put yourself in situations where you're learning that will increase your output quite a bit thank you sir thank you sir actually like next question is like about like answer writing so answer writing like uh, in in mains we have different kind of subjects like you have essay you have four gs papers and an optional so essay is like you are going to comprehend certain things you for example there is a topic called women empowerment we don't we know more things about women empowerment but how we are going to write it coherently how we are going to write a screen play for around like 10 pages which will make a reader more uh, interesting and make him to like uh, travel with our essay that is more important like people have lot of knowledge but they do not know how to put it in a paper one thing is that and other thing is that ethics the other three uh, general studies paper you have like uh, you will study lot of things about it in the prelims itself but ethics is somewhat different you want to know like uh, how to approach a case study right these two are very important papers to like score good marks in your mains so give some advices uh, for those two papers uh essay is quite an interesting uh, uh paper and they i learned quite a lot when i was studying for uh, the essay right so like you said prem it's about some sort of storytelling first for people who are new who don't know too many things it will take some time so by the time you study for prelims you'll get the content for uh essay, for essay. so don't worry about that ipo ungalku theriyalana kavalapadadinga enak women empowerment patti theriyile enak vandu social issues patti theriyile enak kavalapadadinga ninga oru oru 6 maasam padichinga ungalku and content vandu nariyave content vandu so and content vandadukapra you have that concept you know you brainstorm or you brain right right so you first write what all you know about that particular uh, topic and you need to have a nice structure about it right the intro body and conclusion is a typical structure but how are you going to make it interesting right so this is many people say it but i didn't uh, trust them until i implemented it myself in terms of knowing quotes in terms of being able to uh, paraphrase you know i have an epitaph uh, start with a beautiful story uh, so on and so forth becomes very important and i focused on it before the mains and the marks haven't come but i hope i've done decently well in the essay because um, i worked for it in the last uh, few weeks right so over time for at least some important topics and a lot of it is available online already some kind of quotes tirukkurala irukala which is translated in tamil uh, sorry in english or any anything else right of confucius of gandhi of mandela of uh, mother teresa so many people so very prominent and profound but it will add that aha factor to your essay right which is important so the story and the quotes become important how you starting with that punch and how you're ending so i have had like good mentors nariya i watch these public lectures or a ted talk right you can watch a 18 minute ted talks or a nice conversation uh, i have some mentors who tell beautiful stories so former civil servants so i i know that they have also had a similar training which is why they're able to adu or essay way avanga pesra maari irukku but very very beautiful so avanga or beautiful story la arave panga examples avlo alaga irukum ending or quote oda or punch la mudipanga ted talks many good ted talks are like that if you guys go put on and saying top 10 ted talks or something like that you know how steve jobs speaks or how alan de botton speaks of how some very prominent the simon sinek speaks very well so if you people watch ted talks that will also give you how to structure it and you can write it with that own factor so that is for essay ethics like i said adana enak ethics romba pudicha or subject so na enga idu mari or discourse keta or religious book padicha ramayana mahabharata eda ooruku pona abdi illa kor civil servants meet panna enna meet pannalo i will usually compartmentalize it under different values and this was again dinesh sir from shankar academy gave me this idea 
where you said you write down all the important words, like 50, 60 words, and you write down nice examples for each of these things. So, in the Madri or in Larme Gandhi, Mother Teresa, normal Eldwanga. So, other bore at Chipino. But if you write a great example of what happened, let's say, in Abraham Lincoln's life, or you know, if you speak about reconciliation, you know, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of uh, Nelson Mandela, or of what very beautiful things which many people have done even in India, Ambedkar with, with his constitution, you know, how inclusive the constitution has been, and uh, Patel in terms of national integration, different kinds of examples which normally people will not write. So if you write that, you will have a better understanding of that value and you have good examples. So I remember in the last five, 10 minutes, I think I had to write two questions or something like that. But because I knew so many examples, it was a very generic question on what is public service. So I gave an example for each of these values from different sectors. I took an, public service can be anything, like I said, right? It can be an NGO, it can be a, a multilateral organization, it can be government or it can be the corporate sector. So I took an example from each, put a structure for it and I wrote it because I knew examples for everything. So values, what it means and examples for this, which is a little different, will definitely help. So definition or a quote. Right uh, on whatever, right? The Harish Chandra or um, honesty, Satyam Jayate. For example, you start a, a question on honesty or truth with you know this uh, quote from one of the Upanishads itself is the motto in our national emblem, emblem right? Satyam Jayate. If you say that, that has so much more impact than you start with, oh, truth is a value that's about honesty, integrity, so on and so forth. You start with truth and and you say that a nation kind of embodies this value of honesty and it's celebrated it in our epics. That gives you that sense of impact. So I think having these kind of quotes and uh, examples would help. Yeah, great. So the next part is like choosing an optional, right? It is very important in civil service examination, which is actually like uh, some people tend to choose the wrong optional. Then after one year of preparation, they tend to change the optional. It creates a lot of chaos in that preparation, right? So yes. how to choose an optional, how you have chosen your optional. Of course, it is uh, like depends on the interest of a candidate. But apart from that, certain other factors also like are important for choosing an optional. So what are the factors you think is more important to choose an optional? I trusted my teachers, <laughs> so I think Agreed. you need to trust your optional to say that it will give you marks, right? Um, I had studied geography in school in my 11th and 12th, as well as in college, but I didn't take it because I didn't trust that I'll get marks in it. Uh, with sociology, I knew that I will get marks because I can think sociologically and I will be able to utilize this knowledge later on as well. And I knew it was a above average kind of an optional. And I didn't want to take a science subject, of course, um, and I was decently good with social science because of my understanding in college. But even then, uh, ma'am had given me a test, Shankar sir had given me a test. I had to write answers in both geography and sociology, right? Those were corrected. And in some sense, you need to know whether you're more left brain or more right brain. So for right brain, if you want to take sociology, anthropology, you need to be able to think a little more holistically, uh, you know, um, Right, left brain is more analytic, quantitative. Right is more qualitative, it's more holistic. It's about, it's not black or white, right? So it's kind of some sort of circular thinking. Uh, so that's important. So ma'am saw my paper and she said, I think you can absolutely do it. So those things help. I think uh, we, I also did like some sort of a personality assessment and all of that. Do you have the MBTI test and all of that? You can check what is more of your personality and uh, what will work for you. Now that you have these resources, you can do it. There's a website called 16personalities.com, right? So it, it's an MBTI test. So it kind of gives you a personality. So if you're a little more right brain, if you have a little more intuitive, you're more intuitive, you like all of those kind of things and all of that, social sciences will make a lot, lot of sense. Very quantitative, very structured. You want those things so you can take economics and uh, uh, you know all those kind of science subjects, uh, mathematics, geography and all of that. Shankar sir has a very beautiful video. Uh, you guys could just go online. I watched it last week also, where sir explains how you can choose your optional. He says, don't go with the tide, don't go with the trend, don't go with what your friends say. Do you have an attitude? So read those NCRTs of 11th and 12th. I was lucky to have been exposed to it before, but even then I wrote answers, took it to my teachers. We spoke to a few people to say, okay, the Varuma, test 
uh, yeah, you need to have that good rapport with your optional teacher because that is very important. In our area, number the test still the that is. But I think Delhi like, could a one sir number, nalla mentor panar Nishad sir. So it one version na means every day na mothe. So yeah, so I had Rajita ma'am and Nishad. So both of them supported me quite a lot uh, in this. So that is very important. So they gave me that confidence. Every day the mudiyo na na number vechanga. So it's nice to have like good mentors. in your optional because that will help you better it's great yeah so the final stage of the examination is interview right uh, so you said one thing about like you need to know about ourselves right that is more important for interview so most of the questions are from our uh, detailed uh, application or real analysis report or sorry real application form and like uh, most of the questions will be from our personal life what a kind of person we are like uh, what positives what negatives what are all the work we have done in our uh, uh, in our colleges and all those stuff so how to like uh, uh, how to prepare ourselves for a personality test what is the difference between an interview and a personality test because in civil services we call it as a personality test rather than an interview but of course we need some knowledge about uh, what is going around us but apart from that how we should groom ourselves for a personality test yeah so i i don't think it's as uh, dichotomous as it looks i think uh, there are overlaps both in what the interview is and what the personality test is right even if how how we're going to approach a certain problem will have our influence of our personality and our uh, circumstances right uh, but the interview is also a little objective it is also looking for uh, you know some factual answers it's also looking for an approach to problem solving there are certain very clear red lines as uh, what nagraj sir had come for one of our sessions so he had said you know very clear red lines in terms of what is not supposed to be said so in that sense the interview is an interview right it is very objective it is looking for certain criteria personality test yeah i think um, i use this time very well uh, it is important to have a good understanding of certain subjects of politics of economics of international relations at least for the interview because many of the questions come around this and they actually ask you a lot of things and this is not like answering uh, a normal gs answer you need to be able to articulate it in a very quick fashion in front of the board and these are all very very big people so a good understanding of economics politics and international relations is certainly important for you to feel confident because if mine was in march i would have gone into the uh, board with a lot of fear because because mine was postponed uh, because of corona i was able to read some very good books there was a book by richard haas uh, called the world in brief so i kind of understood contemporary world debates i watched a lot of economics documentaries i watched a lot of understanding of politics because that's important for the interview so in terms of interview part of it i think these three parts become important uh for the personality test um yeah i think the daf is your base and you write you kind of make mind maps of what could be the the first level questions and second level questions uh from this it's like a mind map right so you keep deriving one from the other so my name is shrutanjay so we kind of knew that they might ask what does shrutanjay mean right because it's not a very common name likewise that was the first question in mind right what does it mean uh where is this name found so on and so forth right where are you from and then your job experience becomes most important because that's the most recent indicator of what you're doing and how it's directly influencing your personality and right? so i was working at a startup so i started off with what does charge b do what is the startup then you can always think start up india lende questions varla uh, corporate governance pathi question varla abinna uh, investment pathi question varla economics load on pathi question varla so oru oru vishayathilendo and daf lende namakke and kilai questions questions enna varum varu nu nammale yuvikana oru alavukku so nam adu yuvichitronaaka then it comes with a lot of practice you can't mug everything right uh, many people wrote like pages i have seen people writing pages it helps initially i thought it doesn't help but it does because you can't keep saying new things every day right ipo na innikku pesuradhu kuda oru alavuk or structure potu prepare pannidha dhaan vandha illanaaka inga vandaaka romba kashtam na enna pesa pona or point kuda na ezhudhi vekkalanaaka it's going to become very difficult and this i can kind of revise refine and reuse next time right if i'm going to speak to another cohort tomorrow i have a basic structure this is what i'm going to say but it's going to help so i started writing down a lot of answers and then i used to practice in the evening with my mother with my brother even my father uh, he's asked me a lot of questions he'll come from an outsider perspective what he thinks of what an is officer supposed to be or a government very interesting
questions again right namma nenepo illa idella sila questions that trivial are but it actually makes you think you do you have an answer to this are you aware of what's happening in your surrounding so sitting on that hot seat and practicing a lot is important so i did a lot of mocks i think i would have done about five mocks four to five mocks but i did consistent mocks almost every single day with my family at least for a month that's great sushanthi uh, this is the last question so it was nearly 2 to 3 years of experience now you got into the service so this 2 to 3 years of uh, like uh, preparation or like experience of this examination right uh, so what kind of lot of intangible things you would have got right it does like it, it, it will never like fade away from your life so what are the apart from service what are all the intangible things you got from this preparation of 2 to 3 years so that will motivate a lot of students right because knowledge is more important than what 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 else right it is very important just give, give some insights about what all the things you got from the preparation absolutely like i said uh, practice and the value of practice and consistency uh, when i was in college i think a lot of the underconfidence came from nammalal or vishayam eduthu panna mudiyuma nammalal consistent ah irukka mudiyuma nammalal or routine follow panna mudiyuma abbingra and the kelvi nariya irukum so in the exam edha modu namake and or sense of confidence varum okay nammalalum panna mudiyum ipo nariya per english la konjam spoken english ah irukatu written english ah irukku english la edra avanga solran tamil la edra avanga okay பட் நம்மளால இது பண்ண பண்ண முடியுமா அப்படின்னு சொல்லும் போது நம்ம அதை ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணி அதை போய் நம்மளே ஒரு கொஸ்டின் அண்ட் ஆன்சர் எழுதும் போது நம்ம சில விஷயமா ஓகே நம்ம எம்பவர்டா இருக்கோமான்னு யோசிக்கிற விஷயம் இட் இல் மேக் அஸ் ஃபீல் வெரி எம்பவர்ட் ஓகே வீ கேன் கோ டூ இட் அட் எண்ட் ஆஃப் தி டே யோ கோயிங் அண்ட் ரைட்டிங் எக்ஸாம் ரைட் நோபடி இஸ் கமிங் ரைட்டிங் இட் ஃபார் அஸ் சோ யூ ஃபீல் வெரி வெரி எம்பவர்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த இட்ஸ் சர்ன் இட் டீச்சர்ஸ் யூ லாட் ஆஃப் பேஷன்ஸ் இன் கிராட்டிடியூட் சோ லாங் ப்ராசஸ் யூ கேன் கிவ் அப் பட் லைக் ஐ செட் ஐ ஹேவ் தி எக்ஸிட் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி இன் மைண்ட் சோ ஐ நியூ தட் இப்போ வரைக்கும் நான் இது பண்ணணும் பட் ஐ புஷ் மை செல்ஃப் அப் டு இட் ரைட் ஹவ் எவர் வே இன் விச் ஐ ஹேட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் மை பர்சிவியரன்ஸ் அண்ட் பர்சிஸ்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்சிஸ்டன்சி தட் தட் வுட் பி த்ரூ வாட்சிங் மோட்டிவேஷனல் மூவிஸ் வீடியோஸ் லிசனிங் மியூசிக் டூயிங் யோகா மெடிடேஷன் எவ்ரி திங் பட் இட் கெப் மீ கோயிங் ரைட் சோ தட் சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் பேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் யா கிராட்டிடியூட் லைக் ஐ செட் இட் மேக்ஸ் யூ வெரி ஹம்பிள் நம்மளுக்கு இவ்வளவுதான் தெரியும் ஐ திங்க் இட் மேக்ஸ் இஸ் வெரி ஹம்பிள் இட்ஸ் எக்ஸ்போஸ் அஸ் டு மச் நாலேஜ் சோ மெனி பீப்புள் ஆர் டூயிங் absolutely astounding work and last but not least a sense of hope and optimism right namba idu padikumbodhu ivlo officers ivlo per pandrathunala than ivlo periya or country united ah stable ah vechirukanga naka kandipa bureaucrats oda impact illama irk panave mudiyadhu nariya vishayam pannalama of course pannalam and like i said maathi yosikkirathu is our i think we ought to do it right and we need to be the change that we want to be but you also become optimistic to say okay there's a lot of scope to do things there are many avenues to make change from cleaning our own roads to making our own bed i think i had never made my own bed uh 3 to 4 years back but the routine of just getting up and the first thing is you do is you make your own bed you have a bath you go feed you know the birds and go do your fitness and then have a bath and then eat that routine gives makes you feel magical like okay nambale panna mudiyum naka nammalal matha vaal help panna mudiyum அப்படிங்கற மாதிரி அப்படி இல்லனாக்கே we feel very very what do you say you feel a little stressed you feel a little anxious and all of that but this exam i think has given me that sense of hope and optimism to say okay there are many ways to make change and it's our duty to do so so there was a great conversation sudanjay actually uh, you have covered all the aspects of the examination and there was a lot of motivation you have given to the students it was really a, a nice time talking with you and all the best for your career and uh, your few words for the students thank you uh, ramesh sir uh, dangraj sir uh, krishnan sir kongu engineering college specifically um, and dangraj sir initially sonna modu he covered a lot of exams i was like na college irukum bodu enak ivlo exams irukku nu theriyuma ne enak theriyala enga cg le avlo exam ku la in the mentoring la irukka nu enak theriyala so see from chiari cat to I, engineering service upsc so many things he said so it's amazing and If the 50 people are still there on a Sunday afternoon, I think you guys are very interesting. Make use of the opportunity and uh, all the best to everyone. And I thank uh, uh, Congo Engineering College for this opportunity and Shankara S Academy for having me. And for, to all the students, all the best. Have fun. And like Manan said, enjoy the process. It will give you something or the other. Right? Everything is not in our hands. It will give you something or the other. Invest in it. and the results are not completely in our hands miracles happen i believe in that 
and it might not happen in the way in which you and I think it is, but everything happens for a good reason. So just have fun and enjoy doing uh, whatever you do. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Thank Sudhanjay. And uh, um, our Dr. Krishnamurti sir would like to propose the word of thanks. Now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, dear sir, uh, good afternoon. Uh, dear students, kindly fill your uh, feedback form that has been posted on the chat box. So, dear sir, it gives me a great pleasure to say a word of thanks. What are thanks for not being on your machine? You know, or experience a lot of me, you know, or juice marie, or maranate, or city, valande, or maramai, other food sap on a binger there. Being a woro, she may have all excellent as reading and you should have seen the lamb appeal to the bin patina students, the lamb or motivation at the day. All of Shinga on the dinner, to do what I say, Gram, or Tabin, Nidam, Yaram of Binger, the personal day with your own excellent as reading, looking good, feeling good. பீங் குடா அப்படினு சொல்ற மாதிரி இருந்தது அடுத்து இந்த ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா எனக்கு வாட்ஸ்அப் தனியா அனுப்பிட்டே இருந்தாங்க அதாவது வந்து பார்த்தா முயற்சி பயிற்சி இருந்தால் வானம் கூட தொற்று விடும் குரம் தான் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு விஷயங்கள் பிளஸ் நீங்க சொன்ன விஷயங்கள்ல வந்து டாக்குமெண்ட் எப்படி ஹிஸ்டரி படிக்கலாம் அப்படிங்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் சொன்னீங்க கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் வந்து ஒரு டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணா இன்னும் நல்லா பண்ண முடியும் அப்படின்னு சொன்னீங்க கிராஸ் கோர்ஸ்ல ஃப்ரீ கோர்சஸ் வச்சு பண்ணலாம் அப்படின்னு சொன்னீங்க ஆடியோ புக் படிக்கிறதோட அட்வான்டேஜ் என்ன அப்படிங்கிற விஷயங்கள் சொன்னீங்க ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட் டெஸ்ட் அப்படிங்கிற விஷயங்கள் சொன்னீங்க பிளேஸ்மெண்ட் டயத்துலயே சி ஸ்டாட்டுக்கு மூவ் அப் பண்ணா இன்னும் நல்லா பெட்டரா இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி இருந்தீங்க கிளாஸ் நோட் உங்களோட சங்கர் ஐஏஎஸ் அகாடமியோட இத உங்களோட ரோல் பத்தி சொன்னீங்க கிளாஸ் நோட் எடுக்கிறது எடுக்கிறது எப்படின்னு சொல்லி இருந்தீங்க பைனலா உங்களோட விஷயங்கள் எப்படி இருந்ததுன்னா நம்ம நாராயணன் சாரோட விஷயங்கள் எப்படி இருந்தது அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு பென்சில கண்டுபிடிச்சவரு ஒரு பென்சில் ஒரு கல் சொன்னாராம் ஓன் தகுதி உனக்குள்ளேயே இருக்கு நீ போக போக கூறுபடுத்த பண்ணும் ஒரு பொறுப்பானோட கையில இருக்கணும் போகிறப்ப ஒரு முத்திர பதிச்சுட்டு போகணும் அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி நீங்க சொல்லியிருந்தீங்க உங்களோட விஷயங்கள்ல இருந்து நாங்க எடுத்துக்கிறது என்ன அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா வெற்றி என்பது பெற்றுக்கொள்ள தோல்வி என்பது கற்றுக்கொள்ள அப்படிங்கறத எடுத்துட்டு இந்த டயத்துல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா நான் எல்லாருக்கும் என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் பாட்டம் ஆஃப் மை ஹார்ட் டு அவர் ரிசோர்ஸ் பர்சன் சுருதன் நாராயணன் சார் then i would like to extend my sincere thanks to uh, then our uh, sangar ai academy uh, chandra sekaram sir then uh, prem anand sir i would like to extend my sincere thanks to uh, ramesh sir because he is a instrumental uh, in making this program uh, he is very dedicated and sincere committed i would like to say some words about uh, ramesh sir whenever i approach ramesh sir with regard to this program he is very polite he will answer all the queries and definitely sir we are very much impressed by your way of your answering and other things definitely we need your advice and help for further our endeavor our students are very sincere they gave very good feedback we got to this program finally i would like to extend my sincere thanks to uh, dr tangrajan sir his advice for continuing and higher education sir i would like to extend my sincere thanks to our principal and management Again, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Rikya Sahibari, our Chief Coordinator for the entire uh, higher, and company, higher and continuing education. So finally, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our uh, students, our volunteers. Even though they had a thirst, they had a thirst. 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 In three years, they had a college in the college. இந்த மாதிரியான விஷயங்களை வந்து எதிர்பார்க்கலாம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு இந்த தருணத்துல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த சங்கர் ஐஏஎஸ் அகாடமிக்கும் மற்ற ரிசோர்ஸ் பர்சனுக்கு எல்லாருக்குமே என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் தேங்க்யூ சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ சார்